Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I hope all of you are healthy and safe. Uh, I am Akshay Pawar, and on behalf of CIYM, I welcome you all to the 18th webinar of our webinar series. Today, we have collaborated with the uh, Tejas Modi. Uh, it's a privilege for us to collaborate with him. Tejas is the Deputy General Manager of Sales. Tunneling and surface wills at Sandwick Mining and Rock Technology. Uh, he is a mining engineer and has almost 13 years of collaboration with the Sandwick. So there is quite a lot of experience with him uh, to share with us today. Uh, coming to today's topic, he will talk about uh, automation in tunneling, drilling jumbo. Uh, as we all know, automation in Construction is uh, something our industry is moving rapidly to. So this should be an interesting topic for all of us. Uh, as always, we will take questions after the presentation. Uh, please select the raise your hand option from menu bar and we will ask you to speak. Then uh, there are some upcoming announcements which we will make uh, later at the end. So without further ado, I thank Stages again for accepting our request and invite. Uh, for him to uh, start the session, uh, over to you, Tejas. Yeah, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Akshay, uh, for the uh, warm welcome and the introduction. Uh, one correction: I am not a mining engineer; I am a mechanical engineer. So, <laughs> excuse uh, really uh, for the mining. <laughs> That's Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So, uh, uh, thank you again uh, for this uh, uh, opportunity uh, uh, to present here uh, on behalf of Sandvik uh, on a tunneling. Uh, Automation for uh, through a drill jumbo. Uh, should I? I will start start my screen. This moment. Is my screen visible clearly to all uh, participants? Or yes. How? Yes. Uh, and my my voice is also audible to everyone. Yes, yeah. it is perfect. So uh, let's uh, begin this uh, journey of. Uh, uh, automation uh, through a drill jumbo in the tunneling uh, construction. Uh, let's begin the. Uh, I, I just uh, uh, briefly go through the agenda of this today's session. That what I'm going to cover in this uh, topic. Uh, to start with, yeah. So uh, these are the uh, uh, various uh, topics I'm going to uh, showcase in this presentation. The start with safety and EHS. The brief from Sandvik Group, I just touch upon what we are and uh, what we are doing, and uh, also uh, Sandvik's offering into the tunneling segment. Uh, number point uh, number four, uh, the basics of drilling. I, I specifically co covering this point uh, to just uh, uh, have an idea of how the drilling happens and uh, uh, what are the parameters are involved in the drilling. So this is basically for the uh, new uh, new students or the young engineers. Uh, so excuse. Uh, 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 seasoned technocrat who knows the drilling very well. Uh, I mean, maybe more than me. So this is for the young uh, young team, being a young member of uh, group here. Then uh, I touch upon uh, sandwich drilling jumbos in offering. Uh, what are the jumbo uh, versions are available and the size of the jumbos are available in the market today. Then uh, uh, the automation level in the tunneling jumbos. The what are the levels are available like. Um, how many steps are available in the automations uh, or instrumentation on the, in the tunneling jumbo. Then we'll uh, uh, go through uh, accuracy of uh, drilling. I mean, uh, what? How much is the drilling accuracy is important uh, in a in a underground, uh, mainly uh, in a tunnel excavation for construction sites, basically. Then uh, my plan is to uh, go take you to to the Azure software. Uh, what are the uh, its uh, 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 functions and how how it uh, uh, work in the in the in the machine and also in the PC uh, version. Then I'm going to I'm going to show you a live uh, uh, demo or the uh, live software uh, drive uh, through my own PC, so I can uh, I can uh, show a couple of rounds and uh, how the MWD and other parameters can be visible on the on the software itself. And then we have a summary and then uh, maybe a questions and comments uh, from the audience. So I, I hope this uh, agenda is fine and fits to all this group. And and uh, uh, let's begin then. <coughs> This is our Sandvik official safety slide. So uh, uh, EHS uh, means uh, environment, health and safety is always first uh, objective for us. Uh, and it is a, it is for our environment and uh, 
uh, uh, our our customers and our suppliers. So this uh, this philosophy of this uh, EHS also reflects uh, in our equipments, uh, whatever we produce and whatever we uh, sell into the market. Like uh, we have uh, we always our, our designers and our R and D teams always keeping in mind the safety of a human being and the. Uh, the minimum minimal uh, environmental damages through our machines uh, like uh, consuming less fuel or consuming less lubricants uh, throughout the operation tuner so that's how we we comply this but apart from this i have my own safety slides for the uh, tunneling and the construction uh, uh, construction business so this is a serious business as we all are aware and uh, I have a couple of incident slide here that uh, uh, makes us uh, even more vigilant and aware that we have to be uh, alert when we are into the uh, uh, this kind of uh, project site or uh, uh, we are involved in this kind of uh, uh, business. So uh, let me start with this one. This is interesting one. Uh, uh, the the f f uh, first uh, round of a tunnel and they are uh, making a blast with the old age detonator type of uh, uh, blasting and uh, the people has to move uh, move out of the face as fast as possible but you can see here the last person cannot find his seat in the car so he has to run before the actual blast happens and uh, then then this is a uh, uh, very risky that there is no curtains on the face so all the blast material will throw out in the front of uh, it's a terrible but uh, it is uh, nowadays there is a more more control this uh, this kind of a blast in in a, in the actual scenarios then uh, this one is about uh, uh, shock waves uh, uh, like inside the tunnel it's a uh, very very hazardous to the to the human being uh, who who is, who is inside the tunnel very unhealthy thing so we have to be very prepared when we are doing this kind of uh, uh, task in the tunnel then there is a fire in the tunnel. Somebody is playing with the fire. I don't know why they are flaring up the face of the tunnel, but it's a not a good idea because the just in front of face there is a machine standing and it it, it can uh, yeah it can like a boom on the machine itself because machine has a lot of hydraulic oils and the hoses and the rubber items. We have to be very careful like with this kind of thing. And of course uh, this one is a uh, something on the social media things in the job site. We have to be very careful when we are we are in uh, near to the earth moving machinery or the moving uh, elements like this may happen by some mistakes or by some kind of ignorance. And this is uh, really bad and makes the end of a day for the person. So it's not a good idea. Like <laughs> this bad one. Yeah. And this one is a we have to be very alert uh, although although this is the already excavated tunnel but the but the roof can be uh, collapse any time uh, due to different kind of a geological uh, pressure or the overburden over the tunnel so be safe there is a machine in the front of a face but the worker you can see the running and uh, they are taking the videos but i mean Somebody has to bother about the machine and they have to clear it out the machine from the face as fast as possible. So safety of man, man, man machine and uh, environment is important. So we have to be very careful in this scenario as well. And of course, this one is the natural uh, damage. Uh, but of course, we have to be very uh, vigilant when this kind of uh, situation arrive beforehand. Like this entire, this is a very recent one in India. Uh, where the uh, flood happens uh, on the one of a river in the northern part of uh, India, and they, it, it damages the entire dam, and uh, also a lot of uh, casualties have happened. So this is a natural uh, accident. All the barrage gates are gone, and flood are entering into the tunnel as well. So these are the my safety takeaways. So we have to be uh, uh, very vigilant and uh, alert when we are into this kind of uh, site or doing this uh, business. OK, let's uh, begin with the standard group in the brief. Uh, yeah, these are some numbers. Uh, Sandvik is a, uh, it's a global engineering uh, company and uh, it's uh, spread about 160 countries around the globe uh, in, in almost all continents. And we are a group of about 
37,000 employees uh, uh, as per the uh, figures on 2020 December. The total uh, revenue of the uh, of our group is 86 billion sec. This is the Swedish kronor. Uh, so one kronor is about eight uh, Indian rupees. So it's something about 70,000 crore company in uh, in Indian terms. Uh, we are uh, investing about 3.4 billion sec annual uh, to the uh, 3.4 billion sec of uh, uh, well, uh, amount in annual R&D uh, every year. So this translate is about uh, let's say uh, uh, three percent or four percent of our uh, total revenue and uh, today we are holding at about six thousand active patents uh, through our um, uh, uh, all across our products and uh, our um, our technical uh, know-how we have we are operating some 60 r d centers globally uh, where we make uh, uh, designs and uh, innovation for the future uh, and futuristic products and we are very glad to know that we're glad to share that the uh, out of 64 R&D centers are in India, so, so in in Pune, Bangalore, Kolkata, and uh, also in Hyderabad. So uh, India is contributing quite a lot in uh, scientific R&D and innovation uh, of the products. So these are the uh, uh, brief uh, introduction of the Sandvik Group. And uh, Sandvik is actually operating in the uh, different uh, uh, business areas. So today uh, we have a uh, four major business areas uh, within the group. So uh, let's uh, uh, introduce uh, this, uh, introduce us briefly uh, all of these business areas. Like first uh, is metal cutting and machining solution. So this business area is uh, producing uh, a, a, a solution for the metal cutting. A metal cutting means a CNC a milling machine or the brushing machine or the gear gear cutting. Those kind of tools they are making. In this segment, uh, the uh, popular brand name are the Coromant or the Dormer or the Primate or the Seco tools. And the second business area is the mining and rock solutions. So uh, where we belong, where I belong and uh, where we uh, produce the uh, uh, equipments like uh, drill, uh, drill uh, jumbos, uh, surface drills, uh, load and haul and uh, rock tools and other things. The third business area, which is a newly uh, evolved business area within Sandwich, is called rock processing solution. So this uh, uh, business area is uh, uh, manufacturing of uh, crushers. So cr uh, different type of crushers like mobile crusher, track crushers, static and uh, portable crushers, even hammer mill, uh, impact crushers, all type of crushers they are uh, in into this business. And, and, and the fourth one is uh, uh, advanced material knowledge like uh, material technology. So in this area, we are into a, a very specialized kind of a material like um, uh, a, a, a highly um, uh, high alloy uh, high alloy steels like uh, um, uh, 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 corrosive resistant uh, material uh, like uh, uh, and also in this uh, business area we are pro uh, we are promoting this additive manufacturing which is going to be um, in the very uh, coming up very fast in these days and also a 3d printing like um, uh, in that they are not cutting but they are adding the material uh, material to the uh, uh, to process to build the component. So all these uh, business area are, are reporting to the Sandwich Group AB. And uh, now, now we are, I'm taking you to the mining and rock solution area where we belong and where the uh, our tunneling offerings uh, comes in. Sandwich in tunneling. So how, how did we come from here in tunneling actually? The Sandwich is a basically a steel company. It is founded in 19, uh, 1862 uh, in, in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, basically, they are uh, introduced the Besmer method technology of uh, producing the steel. Uh, the commercialization of the, those processes is the first time in the world. So uh, how, how does we come here in the tunneling segment? So uh, actually, this is this is all uh, uh, mainly an acquisition kind of a growth. And, uh, and the original company uh, name is Tamarok. And the Tamrock is a very uh, renowned and a very popular company um, uh, uh, in this field uh, for the very uh, very innovative and very robust product like uh, uh, um, like uh, uh, top hammer drills and other things. So this this company Tamrock is a uh, comes under a part of Tampela Group and Tampela is a Finnish group of uh, uh, a company and it is started in 1940s uh, in early 1940s. Then uh, uh, there is a, uh, quite a lot uh, intensive uh, rapid and uh, growth happens, R&D happens. And then uh, uh, gradually this uh, Tampela has acquired a uh, Wast Alpine uh, technique, uh, which is Australian based uh, road header company. And, and the cooperation of Sandvik uh, and the Tampela is happened in 1989. And then gradually as uh, Sandvik has acquiring those uh, company stakes. And then in 1998, the Sandvik has acquired 100% stake of those companies. 
so that's how uh, we are coming to this business uh, where we have uh, now owner of this uh, loaders uh, drills uh, road headers and uh, other equipments so in 2006 uh, 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 the branding of this uh, different uh, uh, names are been discontinued and, and is uh, is now branded as a one uh, one brand as a sandwich so earlier uh, if the old uh, veteran in this group uh, who is listening me today they must be aware of this toro brand and the tamrock and uh, was style pine egsa loader tikoma drills all these are the very renowned brand in those days and uh, now the, all those brands are become a sandwich part of a sandwich so this is how we uh, come uh, in this segment where the uh, where the sandwich drilling uh, where, where we manufa manufacture this uh, drilling technology uh, located uh, in the in the world so we have a, a mother plant of uh, uh, drilling technology is in tampere so tampere is a, a second largest city in the uh, in in the finland uh, towards north of helsinki is about 2 uh, hours drive and and this is a very very beautiful city and a very nice uh, and a state of art plant uh, located um, uh, in outskirt of city this this is uh, our uh, r&d and uh, r&d hub and also uh, 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 all the drill machines including surface or underground or production drill all are manufactured here so uh, we call it as our mother plant for the uh, drilling technology in fact uh, we don't have any other uh, uh, any other plant uh, uh, who produce the drill rig in the world we have only one plant and all all uh, machines are made in finland so far so uh, this is about uh, the location of the uh, factory in the in the finland the very unique part of this factory is uh, uh, just below the factory or beneath the factory there is a, a test mine located so test mine is uh, now uh, 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 in an overall length if we calculate is about 4 and 1/2 km uh, uh, just below the factory and uh, it is in the two levels so how how this uh, uh, how 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 this uh, uh, tunnel has been created over the years uh, so they uh, we have a we have a system that each and every machine before it get delivers it should be uh, it should be uh, tested in the real uh, uh, real rock condition uh, below the factory and in the real uh, real real condition like not on the test bench or something So that is very unique, and uh, no no one else in the world has this kind of facility to test the uh, rig before the dispatches, and 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 while uh, doing the testing, and um, uh, once we have a full uh, uh, face with the full of holes, then we have to blast to make a next face for the testing, and that's how we created this space uh, below the factory, and now this this space is being used for the workshops and the laboratory and the training center and so on. So it's very impressive setup, uh, very. Uh, uh, very uh, unique in the in the in the world and we are very proud to have this uh, facility with us a small clip of uh, how this test mine uh, uh, looks like and how the thing uh, been i think tested here every machine has goes to underground uh, before it uh, delivered to the customer uh, machine uh, will be tested in the real uh, like a real uh, real condition they are looking at the site you can see the face is a full of holes so all these holes has been created by this of this then the next slide is a uh, uh, just a glimpse that uh, apart from uh, drilling uh, what we have in our basket to offer for tunneling uh, applications like uh, as i said we have a uh, jumbos uh, jumbos and i'm also covering uh, how, what kind of jumbos and what level of jumbos we have that i'm going to cover in the next couple of slide then uh, apart from jumbo then we have uh, another product called road header so road header is also uh, being used for the tunnel excavation or the rock excavation underground also in the mines and also in the uh, construction segment so this is an a substitute of drill and blast method so uh, of course um, uh, uh, this is a comes under natm but this is not a drill and blast but this is a mechanical uh, excavation uh, uh, method so we where the where the blasting restrictions are there or uh, or uh, rock is really very soft uh, that cannot handle the uh, drill machine then apart from the uh, road header we have a load and hole these are the very specialized uh, loaders and trucks uh, which is basically used for the uh, uh, tunnel and the mining applications uh, these are the, not the civil loaders like in open surface uh, uh, loaders but these are the very specialized and very low profile low on the height and the gravity is very low to the ground then we have a dedicated bolter the bolter is a uh, 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 Um, a machine uh, which can install the all type of bolts like um, uh, resin bolt cement grout bolt uh, self drilling bolts or uh, swell expo uh, water expandable bolts and uh, so on 
so uh, this these are the uh, uh, this this is a mechanized way of doing bolting and uh, uh, contribute to a great safety uh, in a, in a working environment and uh, uh, very very fast and very efficient in in a way then uh, we have a, a consumables like a drilling and cutting tools like a button bits and the drill rods and um, uh, of course a coupling shank adapter uh, hammers and other things so these are the supplement to the drill jumbos and uh, bolters uh, so these are the also essential part of our uh, pro progress when we do a drill blast drilling <clears throat> we have a hydraulic uh, breakers as well in our office uh, where sometimes we need to use uh, this breaker for the scaling or for the hammer turning as well where the blasting is not feasible or or not uh, uh, not allowed or with some reasons then we have a, a mobile crushing and screening uh, Uh, the, these are the stations of uh, crushers where, which, which can be installed inside the tunnel where the tunnel size is big or the cavern are available to crush the rock in uh, inside the inside the tunnel itself to not to carry a big uh, big lump outside the tunnel so that's how uh, this mobile crushing and screening comes into the uh, picture and then of course we have a good service support and uh, parts backup uh, as uh, as always uh, to support all these machines uh, throughout uh, throughout the time of the project or the life cycle So these are the uh, brief of uh, our uh, offering on the basket. Now the topic for uh, the basics of drilling. So uh, in this, uh, I'm 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 take you to how the drilling happens actually, and what are the elements uh, are 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 involved in the drilling. So the first question comes here as a why we need to do a hole in the in the in the rock or in the mother hole. Um, the, what are the what are the purposes of the making the hole or making the drilling? So. there may be a, there may be a many reasons to uh, many reasons to do make a hole in the ground like uh, some of the reasons like uh, to explore the minerals or to know the geology to make the uh, drainage hole to make the probe holes that what kind of rock encounter we are going uh, going ahead and uh, and so on and of course uh, uh, be it is surface or surface drilling or the underground drilling but these are the uh, uh, some of the reasons but of course main reason or or the uh, most of the reason of doing hole is to excavate the rock because uh, in in even in today uh, the drill and blast is the most efficient or the economical way to do the uh, do the rock excavation uh, today uh, there are other alternatives are also available like as i said a uh, road headers are there hammer is also there and also uh, tbm uh, excavation is also there but uh, even even today the drill and blast is the more uh, efficient and the uh, most most flexible and the most economical way of excavating the rock so that is the reason most of our customers are would uh, are, are drilling the holes here i am uh, showing here the screen uh, it shows that what are the methods are what are the drilling methods are available uh, with us uh, today uh, uh, mainly so uh, the first is called a top hammer drilling uh, in this uh, there are four four activities are happening at the same time like this logo or this symbol it shows a, a, a feed feed means is progressing towards the uh, towards the rock all the time uh, and it's of course it, it's been a regular it's been it's always been a regulated uh, as as a as a requirement this logo shows as a rotation so it is always rotating this uh, arrow and the logo is shows as a as, as a hammer or a impact on the on the on the this drill string and this logo at the bottom it shows as a flushing like uh, uh, cleaning the cleaning the hole and and this part of the string is called a uh, drill rods and the coupling or or mf rod and and the, and the and the below there is a, a button bit uh, so which is uh, actually in the contact of the ground all the time so all this uh, when the, all this four uh, uh, operation happens then uh, the drilling uh, will take place on the rock so what what uh, makes it the top hammer and the down the hole make a difference that the, this three operation like feed this rotation and the impact is taking place above the ground in the in the component called rock drill or the or the drifter so called but the flushing is always uh, happening at the bottom because uh, we need to uh, uh, clean the hole uh, at the, at the end of the end, end of the hole so in in the down the hole what happens uh, there is a rotation uh, there is rotation there is a feed but the impact and the flushing is also uh, uh, of course flushing is at the bottom but also the impact is also at the uh, at the bottom of the hole so uh, this is uh, basically a pneumatic uh, uh, pneumatic uh, this this in this uh, the impact is happening through a pneumatic energy so compressed air whereas in a top hammer the impact is happening through a hydraulic energy through a, uh, through a, a lubricant 
so that is the major difference here and in this there is no rod there are the barrels like a pipes and there is a hammer involved in this uh, uh, technology and the third one is a called rotary drilling technology in this uh, uh, feed is there and the rotation is there and the flushing is there but there is no impact so this is uh, basically uh, a non percussive uh, way of doing a hole but mainly this used for the softer strata and uh, uh, mainly for the larger holes like uh, you can see the bit here is a rotary bit so it is quite a large dia so uh, in the uh, every every method has its own uh, advantage and its own limitation so for the top hammer uh, drilling is all is the best suited for the uh, smaller dia starting from the 22 mm up to uh, let's say 6 inches and of course the down the hole is uh, available up to 3 inches uh, from the 3 inches up to the 8 inches and the rotary is of course start with the 6 inches up to uh, 12 inches or 13 inches so in in our uh, uh, drill jumbos we are uh, using our top hammer drilling method uh, as a as a medium of uh, doing the hole or or making the hole in, inside the rock so i am i'm just uh, making more uh, uh, detail that uh, what what it consists as i said the four four process together makes a drilling so it's percussion here the rotation the flushing and the feed so what what percussion does the percussion is enabling to beat a uh, penetrate into the rock so it is like uh, our our hammer like uh, we it is always hitting the rock uh, uh, rock through this rod uh, and it is transmitting the energy here then the rotation there is a motor available on the drifter so this component is called a rock drill so there is a rotation motor so it always rotating the rotating the this entire drill string and and that's how the, the this button bit always comes into the contact uh, to the new rock and to cut that rock the feed is uh, something uh, always uh, uh, advancing into the hole to make the uh, length uh, desired length and there is a flushing of course to uh, uh, to clean the cut holes uh, cut materials from the uh, uh, drilled hole so that's how the cutting uh, takes place a small animation that uh, it it's self explanatory uh, you can understand how the drilling takes place in a, in a, this through animation so this is the button uh, this is the bit uh, called button bit and uh, this is the impact, uh, piston is always hitting the shank adapter the energy transmit through a rod drill rod this is called drill rod and to the bit and to the rock this is rotating it is uh, advancing all the time and the extra shock wave comes back which is uh, uh, absorbed by this uh, shock absorbers so this is hitting very hard all the time and the frequency of this uh, um frequency of this uh, um uh, moment uh frequency of hitting this uh, so this one so you can see here it is a uh, uh, drilling at very high frequency so it is hitting at the 67 hertz i mean uh, the frequency is 67 hertz so you know one second it is hitting the piston for 67 times so it's real real very fast i mean uh, we cannot even uh, see by through our, our open eyes so that's how the uh, this drilling takes place and this entire uh, component is called a rock drill or the drifter uh, in our terminology actually this is the heart of the uh, process and uh, all entire uh, other things are the supporting system of the this technology uh, this uh, operation i will coming to that point as well in the in my next slide okay. here uh, some a glimpse of uh, 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 evolution of uh, uh, drilling uh, methods so uh, let's uh, if we see the in in a in a very old old days days like the drilling is happens through a sledge hammer and the uh, and the ideas uh, rods and then it is a little bit of advance with the pusher legs and the jack hammers uh, through a compressed air connection here then uh, there is a uh, another stage stage of uh, uh, upgrade that uh, there is a uh, wheel uh, wheel mounted uh, uh, compressor driven uh, machines and then there is a uh, another advantage uh, took place in 19 uh, early 90s with the hydraulic uh, uh, jumbo stations which can be mounted on the rail or on the on the wheel then there is a hydraulic jumbos uh, mounted on the wheels with the different booms and the cabin and of course today we are at the uh, at, at the very peak of uh, development it's called uh, uh, totally computerized machine and uh, uh, high, uh, very uh, sophisticated and uh, uh, very safe and also uh, very uh, productive and of course uh, all this uh, machine development coupled with the tooling development as well we can see here at the at the bottom uh, different type of uh, tools have been uh, uh, designed and developed over the period of time so this is a cross bit these are the uh, uh, different type of uh, uh, shapes of the bit uh, 
then there is a, a male female rod and now today we are at here with the speedy rock and the alpha beat uh, speedy beats and the alpha alpha rod so which are the uh, more even more strength and more uh, durable uh, uh, to withstand with the longer service life and at the same time the drilling meters also get increased uh, every every hour we drill so these are the you know just a brief history about uh, how the drilling uh, jumbos has been evolved over the period of uh, decades over the years now the chapter 5 is the type of drill jumbos what kind of jumbos we have today in the in the market so uh, it's it's a quite a lot uh, jumbos model are available uh, with the with us and uh, when i say the smallest baby like uh, our uh, our smallest machine is called uh, uh, it it is capable to do a tunnel of 2 meter by 2 meter so just imagine the if you have any drift i i, I cannot say even tunnel it is a called a drift so it it's it's a mining drift or a construction drift so it is a it it, it can suits well uh, if we want to do a 2 meter by 2 meter size of uh, uh, d shape or horseshoe shape or tunnel that machine uh, has a uh, equipped with the single boom only one drill is uh, uh, attached to that machine and uh, that can uh, weight of uh, total weight of the machine is about 9 ton and of course the power of a rock drill is a 20 kilowatt so 20 kilowatt is the impact power which i have shown you in the earlier slide that uh, hitting the piston all the time then uh, of course uh, it is all uh, different uh, uh, size of uh, coverage and uh, 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 different configuration like a two boom with the basket without basket or three boom with the basket without basket with a different type of controls hydraulic controls uh, uh, upgraded hydraulic control or sika plc based control or data control the 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 biggest machine or the this monster is about uh, uh, can can have a capacity to excavate a 13 meter a uh, tunnel and 19 meter width a 13 meter is height of course and 19 meter width the size of tunnel a single pass so no heading bending required if the rock is real competent uh, that uh, dt 13 131 can do that job so it's real uh, quite a, a big machine so we have a uh, uh, in nutshell we have a, a machine or a jumbos for all all kind of applications in the in the tunneling uh, start with the smallest to the biggest and in between there are a couple of uh, more models as well and of course with the different conf configuration of the machine and the control system here uh, i i'm sure there are many uh, uh, experienced people here in this forum but uh, here this, this is the slide for the uh, newcomers or the students or the young engineers the, what what is a jumbo and how, what are the main component of the jumbo so uh, this is a look like a typical look of a jumbo <laughs> of course uh, it's a different uh, configuration the three boom there are three drilling boom here in this case is a two boom and one basket jumbo so i just start from here so this jumbo has a electric cable reel so when the jumbo is uh, drilling on the face or uh, making a drilling operation the machine is uh, running on the electric power not on the diesel just to uh, have a minimal impact on the tunnel ventilation system so so uh, 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 jumbo is uh, run through electric uh, cable and uh, this cable reel is uh, attached to the jumbo itself so uh, uh, normally we supply 100 meter uh, cable reel here so uh, uh, you have to attach the cable to the, your junction point in, inside the tunnel then this component uh, this compartment of the jumbo is a uh, it consists of the hydraulic system and the power pack so hydraulic system means uh, electric motors uh, of course and then the compressor then the water pump and uh, and and uh, of course uh, there is a, an engine engine is also uh, inbuilt in this machine so engine is uh, used when the jumbo is priming inside and coming out outside of the tunnel and when uh, some ancillary job has been done except drilling like boom movement or use of basket at that that point of time the engine can be uh, engine can be operated then we have a cabin uh, uh, here uh, where the control or, or the drilling control on the front and the trimming control at the back uh, available of course this can be uh, also available uh, with the canopy uh, like in a in a in a hydraulic control machine then we have a this is called a boom where my cursor is uh, moving this is called a boom a drilling boom and uh, it depends uh, how many booms in the machine so it can be one boom or two boom or three boom then on this boom we can see here this uh, aluminum part is called a feed uh, like this one it's called a feed and in this feed there is a rock drill uh, mounted on this feed and it is always uh, running back and forth uh, when the drilling is happening in some cases with the computerized jumbo we do have a provision to have a rod handling system so like here you can see there are multiple rods are attached to the jumbos uh, so it is a, like a cartridge it is like a cartridge that's a six or seven rods can be fitted on the machine itself uh, for the uh, long hole drilling application basically the long hole drilling is like a probe hole or a grout or uh, any any extension drilling we needed 
so this is the automated uh, long hole drilling provision is also possible with this uh, uh, attachment of the rod uh, handling system then this is the basket a basket is an optional feature of the jumbo um, uh, some customer uh, uh, i mean if we see the global trend some customer opt it but in india is always be a part of a machine because the basket is been used for uh, uh, charging of the holes at the same time uh, also installing the rock bolts and other uh, other ancillary jobs uh, whenever the required you can see here the jumbo is not on the wheel uh, while the drilling so jumbo is uh, standing on the outriggers there are four uh, four outriggers uh, two at the front two at the back and uh, and when the when the, when the electric uh, sorry when the uh, when the drilling is completed this, this outrigger will be closed and the machine is on the wheels again so this is the brief uh, nomenclature of the jumbo component so the rock drill is fitted here actually that is does the real drilling and all these other uh, other uh, other arrangement is uh, supporting to that process so uh, uh, in in my in my terminology the rock drill is the heart of the machine what it call heart so if uh, if this is a strong and this is the innovative and this is the um, uh, efficient the entire operation will get efficient that's how the uh, i would say about the jumbo of course the, the, that was the jumbo and now this is the uh, supplementary part of that jumbo so without this the drilling is not <laughs> going to possible <laughs> so uh, this is something like the pistol and the uh, uh, pistol and the uh, bullets so these are our bullets so uh, in in the in the rock drill the first comp the first uh, uh, tooling uh, accessory is to be fitted is a shank adapter so this uh, this spline here at the at the left side of the this shank adapter is fitted on the rock drill and uh, and this part of uh, um, uh, shank adapter right side it is fitted with the either with the either through a coupling to the drifter rod or direct to a uh, male uh, male female rods so these are the drifter rod it comes with the round shape or the hexagonal shape and then uh, there are uh, varieties of the bits are available uh, depending on our uh, selection criteria according to the geology or the tunnel uh, um, tunnel situation or the hole diameter we want to drill like you here you can see the male female rods and uh, and and there are of course the varieties of the bits are available uh, one fit one size doesn't fit all uh, applications so we have a uh, quite a uh, elaborated range of uh, bit offering Uh, uh, like uh, this is a conical bit where the uh, rock is real soft there is no uh, no no much no, no much of uh, stress on the bit so it is uh, cutting through very fast then there is a ballastic then there is a different grade of ballastic bit uh, then there is a spherical bit this is for the harder rock or medium hard and then there is a specialized sp uh, spherical bit with the different uh, grade of uh, carbide uh, these are the carbide where the uh, these are the carbide they are in the touch of uh, rock all the time and they are cut the rock so we have a, uh, and of course we can make even a, a new way of uh, carbide grade in case uh, there is a demand uh, from the project site in case the rock is real uh, tough or the very abrasive uh, to handle so with the jumbo and with this tooling the drilling mix happens actually so these are the supplementary things and uh, it has to go uh, hand in hand all the time i i hope uh, so far it is clear uh, to all my participants uh, is there any any reflection or any comments or uh, i mean is it okay <laughs> or uh, just uh, can one can quickly uh, tell me or should i just proceed yes, for yes. the yeah yeah please yes, i think it's going well i mean you can proceed we will take all the questions in the end all right all right perfect the level of automation jumbo i mean uh, 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 we have now understood uh, we have just uh, explained uh, what are the jumbos and now these are the different level uh, level of automations uh, available uh, in the in the in the drill jumbo so the first version is called a basic hydraulic machine uh, in this uh, as i mentioned here uh, uh, the text says no instrumentation so there is a no uh, no computer in this machine uh, just a pure hydraulic uh, control uh, system it is a uh, manual driven so operator has to stand all the time on the on the control and has to uh, uh, drive them uh, uh, drive the drilling operation through the levers there is a, a certain uh, things to be done here manually as well like marking on the face the uh, the spot uh, hole spot to be required on the face by the surveyor and all the skill uh, the, the main uh, the most of the operation of this uh, category of machine is uh, is depends on the operator skill judgment or his attitude or his behavior i mean it's all about human so It, uh, there is a no control or there is a no review you we can make it here in this uh, machine so uh, but still it is very popular and a uh, uh, lot of uh, people like the basic simple machine of this uh, hydraulic uh, technology the next level uh, we can call, call it as a semi automatic uh, machine or uh, it called a tcad machine so tcad uh, uh, means a tamrock computer aided drilling 
so in this uh, machine we we added the computer uh, computer touch in this uh, in this control panel this machine comes with the cabin because it it has a computer uh, in in front of operator console like here uh, in this place the, uh, it is still hydraulic machine it is not a uh, 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 plc based or sensor based machine it is still very much hydraulic machine but uh, in in the, the, the drilling in this machine it uh, takes place automatically but uh, the boom movement of this uh, machine is uh, been uh, uh, done by the man, uh, operator through using through a lever uh, directly by using his hand the, the beauty of this machine is that uh, the pre uh, the whole design or the whole uh, drill hole plan can be fitted on the computer screen itself so an uh, operator need not to uh, follow the face of the tunnel but he had it has to follow the screen of the of the computer in front of him and this machine is capable to handle a total station navigation which is a uh, quite accurate and a uh, very fast way to do a uh, uh, navigation navigation the machine inside the tunnel and of course it can uh, capture uh, uh, some of uh, mwd parameters uh, of the drilling this machine uh, uh, also uh, 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 i mean uh, supported by the isho software uh, which is uh, a sandvik uh, drill and plan office software i i also covering that part uh, in uh, in a couple of next slides and the next level and and the, uh, and the third level is called uh, i series machine so these are the totally um, uh, sika uh, sika control machine uh, i mean the plc based control and a uh, uh, total center sensor based machine a totally new new platform uh, there is no uh, i mean of course this is uh, driven by the hydraulic energy as well but there are a, a lot sensors and uh, let are uh, there are a lot of uh, 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 measuring system in this machine so full uh, it, it can do a full face uh, drilling uh, with the auto boom movement there is a no uh, manual intervention required of course the operator can con take a control anytime when he wish but uh, a full automatic uh, drilling is possible with this machine whereas in this uh, semi automatic machine the boom movement is always a manual that can be not, cannot be automatic and of course a uh, lot of data in this machine can be uh, derived uh, after the drilling and uh, uh, geosore uh, geosore uh, package is also available with this machine and also a rod handling system is available and the cabin is also a part of the integral part of machine this is a touch based screen also there and there is a joystick control machine so in here there is a, a hydraulic control machine with the levers and the spool valves and here uh, the the control is like a, a, a push buttons or the joystick joystick control so these are the basic uh, uh, difference uh, in in a construction uh, uh, i mean uh, in a technical uh, feature of the machine the more part on the i series or automatic machine are coming up in a, in a couple of next slides sir so uh, in a, in a today's world uh, why we need an automation on the drilling i mean why we need an automation like uh, it is it is uh, it is applying in every every sector or every industry like and it is also applies here in tunneling like uh, that improves safety of course it is the less exposure of the manpower uh, in the, in the process minimize the human error and the assumptions of course in hydraulic uh, machines uh, always we have to depend on the operator uh, skill and its judgments accurate drilling and better pro tunnel profile uh, this is something like a cnc machine so uh, computer numerical uh, control machine so when we give a program to the machine the program uh, uh, that that program uh, makes enable the machine to work itself on on that uh, arithmetic um, uh, or the algorithm of the machine so uh, uh, it's very it is it goes as per the plan it is not deviate and when it deviate it it makes you aware that we are deviating so we are aware that what is happening and what are the errors reduce overall cost of operation of course when the uh, accuracy is there then uh, there is an advantage directly or indirectly in the process uh, that are coming in the next part higher progress more advanced per round uh, that's true and the data driven uh, productivity improvement so uh, with this kind of uh, uh, machine uh, we can have a lot of data after the uh, every every round so we can always review always monitor always observe and what went wrong what went right and we can uh, make it correct for the next cycle so that's how we always and improve our productivity and our way so this is uh, the need of uh, this is why the, we, call, we call it as a need of an automation of course uh, we also need an accuracy of drilling so what what happens when we don't have a, 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 a i would say a less accuracy of a, of a, of a drill in the in the basically in the tunnels if in case of a surface uh, it is all, all fine if we if we deviate the hole here and there a little bit but in the, when the tunnel when we have when the construction projects are very very uh, very uh, tight limit or the tight tolerance uh, they have to excavate the tunnel so the accuracy of drilling is uh, become a very important to achieve those uh, uh, limit tolerance or the targets here in example uh, what what happens when we have uh, uh, inaccurate drilling so 
let's see uh, this is the black black shape here it is called a theoretical uh, design or the, or, or the design profile so uh, uh, as per the consultant designer we have we have been given to excavate the tunnel in this face uh, this shape or the this fashion but when we do a drilling the drilling is something like a blue with the dots so uh, it's it's become uneven drilling and then the blast is uh, even uh, blast is uh, even uneven so it's a the totally goes in a very uh, uh, very quite a lot on un under break and over break uh, uh, due to uh, a wrong placement of the holes and the uh, and the length and the and the spacing so the accuracy of drilling is uh, quite a lot and uh, i'm going to talk on those part in the next coming slide as well of course the good profile uh, comes with the good uh, good placement of the hole equally uh, equally uh, synergized the hole uh, equally distributed holes and uh, uh, length as well in, in this case, it is self self explanatory that um, we can expect uh, this kind of profile with this kind of hole placement. In this case, the surveyor has marked the face uh, with the, this fashion, but the drill that ended up in the back of the round and this fashion. So it is not uh, giving us a good result, of course, uh, because uh, uh, all the holes are uh, uneven and uh, at a wrong angle or at short short or the long depth, uh, uh, length of the hole so it's it's not gives us a good advance or the good pool at the end this is the good drilling accuracy what it call uh, uh, reflection of the face at the bottom of the face so and and of course each hole ended up there that same same plane that gives uh, that that makes at least an optimum advance of the pool and of course the good pool and the good advance result uh, significantly in a, in a efficiency let's say if there are of course this this here is a 100% pull out but is a theoretical but if we say if we say we can improve a 10% pull every time so at the end of the 10th cycle there is a one cycle free so it's a quite a lot uh, saving to the any tunneling uh, project uh, by 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 virtue of uh, having a one cycle automatically having an extra pull of uh, all the at every round <clears throat> uh, uh, I'm now I'm, I'm jumping to the ISOR software quickly and uh, then uh, I will uh, run through ISOR uh, software live. So uh, here is the presentation of uh, ISOR software. So uh, what is the so what is it about the software and what is includes and uh, how it works? <clears throat> so out of a drill plant design here. When we see the tunneling cycle, everybody knows that uh, 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 tunneling is a cyclic business and a cyclic process actually, and a uh, uh, lot of money involved in this uh, cycle. Uh, it starts with the navigation, surveying, phase drilling, charging, blasting, loading and hauling, scaling, short crit, concrete, and uh, <clears throat> rock support, and then again navigation. But uh, and this is all uh, regular practice to all the tunnelers. But oh, I, I wish to uh, no, normally this cycle uh, you know goes in a clock clockwise. But uh, I, I wish to highlight here in anti clockwise anti clock uh, way to to show uh, and uh, importance of the how the drill plan a, a good drill plan or a good uh, um, uh, blast design uh, will lead to all other uh, uh, aspect of the of, of the cycle uh, cyclic process. So uh, when we see the navigation, so navigation. Uh, uh, is a, is a very important part. Uh, it plays very important part in the in the in the tunnel um, uh, tunnel excavation. Overbreak or neither overbreak or nor an underbreak is a good part of uh, any any business of, of a tunnel. So when when we see uh, uh, more uh, deviation in, inside the tunnel, uh, it, it is needed an extra cost to fix the bolts and also extra cost uh, to fix the cavity or the or the misalignment of the tunnel. So that there are and, and there are I have read that there are an instance where the tunnel has offset let's say uh, a few meters like one or two meter even so that is a big cost to the any tunnelers uh, to uh, make it repair or and also uh, consume a lot of time so it's it's a lot of money and the cycle time as well so this is a, a one point then the uh, rock support like a bolting this uh, uh, blue lines here you can see uh, uh, at the at the profile of the uh, at the edge of the profile there are blue lines. So it is called excavation damage zone. 
when when we put uh, an extra energy or uh, uncontrolled energy uh, to the holes uh, it will damage the periphery of the holes uh, by damaging the surrounding rock and when the surrounding rock is get damaged uh, uh, or the loosen up by the blast uh, blasting energy then we need to support them through additional bolts uh, or additional uh, uh, supporting system so that is an additional cost uh, uh, to the uh, process and also consuming the cycle time and the resources like manpower time and the uh, uh, costs uh, additional costs so here here what we want to say, what we want to emphasize that this uh, uh, excavation damage zone should be an optimum and, uh, and 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 it is as per the control uh, control way uh, when we control this then the profile would be a nicer and uh, uh, minimal uh, damage to the uh, surrounding rocks then uh, a concrete spraying this is an expensive affair uh, of course when the, there is a cavity or then there is a uh, overbreak happens generally uh, a short creating cost in india is about uh, starting uh, i mean uh, in thamru let's say uh, 15000 to 20000 rupees a cubic meter in terms of euro is about uh, 200 to 300 euros and, th and those are the uh, really uh, expensive um, uh, uh, process if it is not a natural overbreak or, or, or geological overbreak. If it is a man-made overbreak by the error of uh, uh, drill and blast, uh, uh, then it is uh, uh, very hurting to the cu customer's pocket or the contractor's pocket. Then uh, scaling. Scaling is also, uh, of course, when we have a good uh, profile, there is a very less uh, scaling to be needed. Uh, but uh, and if we have an uneven uh, profile, uh, we need to do a scaling of the uh, uh, scaling uh, of a process to make it uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a regular shape. And, and it's also co consuming a time and also uh, needed a dedicated uh, excavator or the vehicle to do a scale uh, with the breaker so, or, or the cutter. So it's, uh, of course, a time consuming in the cost. Loading and holding. Uh, when there is an overbreak or there is a uh, extra blast, then there is of course a more muck. So uh, the mucking uh, process will be get delayed or, or the longer or uh, uh, loader or has, has to handle a mo more material from the face. And there are some times when the uh, uh, blasting is not optimized or not uh, 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 efficient. There are some cases that the big boulders has been created or some blast hole. Uh, uh, charge hole as unblasted hole uh, un unblasted uh, so that there are toes or there are uh, uneven floors has been created it takes a lot of time uh, with the with the excavator to clean up those uh, 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 mess in the blast uh, mucking blasting and ventilation this is a very you know interesting part of this entire process uh, is it's consume only 6 seconds like uh, 6 seconds and it's boom the, the blast is done but it, it it delivers a significant uh, impact on all the process like uh, if this is has been uh, optimized or efficient uh, uh, way then the, the the shape of the tunnel and the pool is also uh, quite uh, quite good uh, in, in this case when when it is not uh, uh, it is not reviewed or it is not optimized then the maybe the shape of the face uh, may be ugly or uh, uh, and we need to have a uh, difficulties to start the new round uh, uh, very easily so this this is also uh, contribute to the pool and um, uh, face of the uh, face of the tunnel uh, profile of the tunnel basically and of course the charging charging is uh, uh, something uh, to do with the uh, number of holes on the on the on the face that how many holes we need doesn't mean that all the extra holes will uh, give us a more uh, good profile of the hole or, or face of or good result on the blast so uh, it is uh, it should be uh, reviewed and it should be optimized uh, of the uh, you know optimum number of holes so that the there is a less cost on the meters of uh, drilled and also a less cost on the charging so it should be optimized with the using of uh, appropriate tool uh, by reviewing the drill and blast uh, results and of course the phase drilling which is a um, uh, um, uh, very significant uh, uh, important uh, uh, tool to review to modify to edit and uh, uh, to make it again repetitive so uh, and of course it is uh, coupled with the efficient uh, uh, rig uh, like uh, it should be uh, capable enough to handle all this uh, 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 drill plan and other thing uh, to be uh, to be by itself so these are the cost excavation uh, elements uh, by using the uh, drilling uh, uh, and the blasting factors inside the uh, tunnel so uh, what is the iShore? The iShore is a uh, uh, is a just a software like uh, MS Office. What we are using to, uh, nowadays, uh, it is another software uh, for uh, created by the Sandvik. Uh, it is our own in-house software. It is not um, uh, something to be available in the market like uh, ready-made. It is uh, developed by our own team uh, over the period of year. And today we are using the version 8.1. So you can uh, just imagine that uh, we are reached at the eighth level uh, of this software. It is the office software or computer program software for mining and tunneling drill and blast process control. 
and it produces a, a, a data needed for optimized drilling and blasting cycle. So uh, it is uh, generating quite a lot of data, and that I am going to uh, show you in next couple of rounds that what data this will generate and how it can be useful for the contractors or the or or the any any project uh, uh, in, in any project. I I sure it includes the uh, uh, or, or it comes with the phase drilling, injection drilling, and bolt plant design. So in this software, you can make a phase drilling plan. You have a grout, uh, grouting, uh, grouting process in your pro project, so you can do injection drilling profile or the bolting plan. It is a data collection analysis as well, and it is a learning tool set to improve the work cycle and the process. So uh, it is a learning tool. Actually, uh, you do a, I mean, a normally, uh, uh, I mean, a user of this software does the one round and they review it and then they optimize again in the next round. So it is a continuous improvement process. This software has a tool. Uh, to assist the geological interpretation and the support on onboard so profile scanner. So there are so, so, some of the options are available with this software that uh, it, it can also make uh, some sort of geo geological interpretation that what kind of rock it is encountering in the in the in the ahead and also uh, 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 scanning of the rock can be also possible under this software. So I, I'm, I'm touching those points in the next couple of slides. A brief uh, a few second video on I sure that uh, how how it looked like. Uh, just let me play this. So this is a, a video. This is also available on the YouTube. If anybody wants to uh, see it again or or wants to share somebody, if they can do that. So uh, in this slide, I, I just uh, uh, explained that uh, these are the, uh, I would say, uh, different uh, features of the iShore software that what are the things we can do and uh, what are the details we can uh, achieve from this software. So let's begin with the uh, first the project. Uh, we can load the entire project in this uh, ICR software, like using the coordinates X and X and Y, uh, like uh, easting and northing uh, kind of uh, coordinates can be implemented in inside the software, or or uh, 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 we can use the ready-made file if we have a, a, through a surveyor. Any any shape of tunnel like a, a, a circular shape or a, a gradient or a angular or a, a, a twin tube or any any uh, any profile can should not be a problem with to in, incorporate inside the uh, the software so that uh, we can have an entire project in our in our in our software in, in our PC to 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 review it in the later stage. Then there are the theoretical profile. We can create a lot of uh, uh, n, n number of profile with this software. Like uh, there are also a template available in the software that you can select and uh, uh, you can choose a, a set patterns here with the different uh, dimensions here. And and if we have an AutoCAD design uh, through a, uh, our uh, consultant or any designer, we can also use that. And uh, of course, uh, there are uh, some uh, complex uh, tunnel shape can be also designed with the using different arc and the three arc and the um, uh, D shape type or other uh, other features are available in, in this uh, uh, software. 
we can also make an interpolation uh, in, in in the tunnel like uh, a tunnel uh, has a one shape but it has an interpolate uh, or some parking area so the niche or the lee base uh, inside the tunnel so it can be extra uh, interpolate uh, in in the in the same uh, same uh, tunnel alignment uh, it can be a uh, possible and uh, of course uh, and 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 number of tunnel plan we can uh, make it like a uh, project 1 project 2 or not tunnel 1 tunnel 2 tunnel 3 there are many projects there they have a number of tunnels like 1 2 3 so that can be incorporated in the same uh, same software so uh, the the project can be well catered uh, in inside the software then we have a written blast uh, design package here we can see here uh, uh, edz zone the excavation damage zone so the the uh, we all, of course we always wish to have a minimal uh, impact to the surrounding rock and uh, uh, for that reason we need to consider the points to what are the what are the feature points we need to consider uh, while we have a minimum uh, edz zone inside the tunnel okay so these are the uh, uh, various different uh, placement of the holes with the ed uh, mapping the geology of the rock and also applying the different uh, type of uh, blasting material and uh, of course we can review it on the software itself uh, before the blast then the depth control we can of course uh, control the depth like in some shape of the tunnel we need to uh, do a side slashing so in the slashing there are different uh, uh, length are involved like at the bottom we have a more depth uh, but in the in the in the in the in the middle of the tunnel we have a short depth but still we want to uh, start from the here so computer takes takes the depth control automatically uh, in like in this case as well like we have a curve in the tunnel so this depth and this depth is a bit different so it, it is uh, taken care by the software itself when we have a uh, when we have entered the right design inside the software like uh, this way then uh, then of course the detonation uh, design uh, so uh, we can enter the uh, type of uh, hole charges we have charging material we are going to use inside the um, holes uh, or, or the face and uh, their properties and uh, we can make a, a delays of them and we can review it how how the blasting uh, would take place uh, uh, before the blast that can be a possible then we have a bolting uh, plan as well uh, uh we can make a uh, uh, various type of uh, uh, bolting fans fully uh, we can also make it edit and also make it make, also make it repeat in case we want number of fans can be made in a one uh, one setup like a five fans like a, a fan one two three four five <clears throat> or the zigzag pattern is also can be possible we can make uh, injection holes like a grout uh, grouting uh, pattern that can be also a possible to make a long hole this is a long hole drilling like 24 meter in this case it is written here so this is a design package of the software then we can go to the rig efficiency here that what kind of data we can get out of the rig <coughs> here we can see the individual round database like a rig location rig id time uh, volume holes round and drilling efficiency and other things we can see here I think I can. I would show this too in a real uh, software when I when I operate the software live uh, uh, here uh, in this session. So all all this we can visible in the in the in that uh, 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 information on the software that how much uh, how much your uh, time has consumed, what are the idling time, cumulative time, all those things can be boom one, boom two. I will show it that uh, later stage. Type of holes. So, what kind of uh, holes has been drilled? Like either hole, contour hole, rimming hole. Uh, how many holes? What is the length? And of course, this uh, face drilling holes result. Like, uh, is there any warning on the holes? I, I, that that I can show you in the in the real software uh, way of uh, doing this. Of course, operator can make a comment uh, while it is drilling. Like, uh, if the when the automatic drilling is happening, and after operator sees that there is excess water is happening, or the or the rod is stuck in particular hole it, it can immediately add, open the uh, this uh, this kind of box and uh, can add can add the comments here to review it uh, later state for the blasting improved blasting then uh, of course a drill still we can have a, a review on the drill still that how many meters each uh, button beat or the rods has been drilled in particular boom we have to just enter the each and every time when we uh, fit the new bit and the new rods and then the machine will uh, gives you a summary of those consumptions then 
uh, this is a uh, interesting part uh, when we uh, this is the start points of the holes like uh, blue ones uh, we can see here uh, these are the blue ones and uh, the red ones are the finished hole so at the at the, at the back of the hole uh, at, or at the uh, bottom of the round so we can see the uh, we can see the always compare the accuracy that what is the accuracy of the drill here uh, like uh, is very well uh, much of a deviation then we can easily identify understand that uh, this hole are deviated from his original location and we can uh, uh, subsequently, we can do a uh, charging in that particular hole. I mean, a less charge or more charge, we can decide on that part. The sequence of the boom, that uh, drilling sequence, that each boom, uh, how it is uh, designed to get sequenced so, so that it cannot collapse uh, each other uh, while drilling. Then the 3D shapes can be uh, uh, possible with this uh, software. Bottom of the slaves, MWD per round. This is interesting and a very important part for any um, um, uh, drilling activity to know the what is a measure while drilling. MWD has a name of a measure while drilling. So it is uh, capturing the MWD data at every two centimeter of drill length of the hole. And there are about 19 different samples that have been collected at every two centimeters. So uh, this information has been used for the uh, you know uh, performance review or the behavior of the rig or uh, alteration uh, any any alteration on the rock ahead or uh, or do so on so there are a lot lot, lot many uh, uh, data can be generated with, by the uh, this uh, 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 report and it can be reviewed later so in this uh, case in this chart here you can see the 2d 2d diagram of the rig so we can see the penetration rate is something uh, uh, green green this uh, this line is going as a penetration rate so we can see here the penetration rate is a uh, Average is a three meter per minute, but at some point here it is crosses at three and a half meters. So that way we can uh, we can understand what is the penetration rate is going on with the every hole. And uh, initially it, it does a coloring and ramp up and the, and the full power it is uh, controlled by the machine itself automatically. So in this uh, in this uh, chart you can see this uh, all this MWD diagram or particular this one hole. So which is selected here on the on the entire all of uh, holes. So it is. Selected one hole and it is showing the particular hole MWD parameters here. And of course, we can see the 3D diagram as well. I can uh, also show in the in the live software. <coughs> so this is a, a, a MWD of the long hole, like a 21 meter of probe hole. We can see and we can understand that what kind of rock uh, we are going to encounter. So there are the two long hole has been drilled a 21 meter real long hole. So it is uh, gives you a report that uh, what are the different uh, penetration rate has been encountered or the what uh, what are the different uh, uh, SDR has been encountered uh, in the in the drilling. So accordingly, we can make a, a blasting arrangement or we can make a, a, a roof support or the rock support arrangements uh, in the in the in the excavation of the process. So. We can see here uh, while we are doing a 21 meter long probe hole, there are uh, four rods to be changed. So uh, one uh, first uh, first rod drilling. Oh, no, this is the first rod which is inside. Then this is a rod uh, uh, addition of uh, another rod. So it's a gap. Uh, then the second rod, third rod, fourth, and then the last rod. So it is a closer of the drilling. So we can see the different uh, bars here. So penetration rate is uh, like a green line. So it's almost like constant. Here uh, it is dropped down, but it's again uh, picking up. So this kind of uh, report can be generated. Then, of course, we can have a pull out uh, analysis. After the blast and the some amount of holes and the depth uh, where uh, that right direction are not cutting the rock. And, uh, and of course, we cannot. Uh, it is very idle if we achieve 100% pull of our drill length. But in normal cases, it is uh, in, in idle world, it is not possible. So some of the length is uh, considered as a dead end. So those are the uh, those those analysis we can do that uh, in in particular round how much is the pool has been achieved and we can make a suitable review to those uh, pull out analysis for the next round. <clears throat> of course, the better the pull out is the result of a better the drilling blast efficiency. So this uh, we can do that like uh, previous round and the next round start point. So previous round has ended here, but the next round will start here. So this is the gap on the pullout. So this we can review each, each and every round. So that's a very good tool to analyze and a very good tool to review it. <coughs> of course, like this. Color map is also possible. And so on. Yeah. Then there is a voice, uh, blast vibration. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can have a, uh, uh, some kind of a modeling that uh, what what is the vibration level can be uh, 
can be generated by using this kind of charging and this number of holes uh, uh, in in the in the tunnel that can be also reviewed here in this segment and the team improvement can also be done like there are multiple rigs are working in a, in a same package so it can be uh, reviewed as a team uh, team level and then the, this is important part i just uh, we have a now i i cross the time limit so i just go a bit quickly so i just quick this uh, geo part of uh, uh, package this is important for us to highlight here so geo is a uh, sandvik uh, option as a as it's not a standard fitment but it's an option to the uh, i series machine and in, in this uh, geo geo package we can have a additional uh, measurement of this features like fracture indicator in percentage str sandvik drilling resistance in mpa like uh, uh, something like a uh, compressive strength or, or the water indicator in terms of percentage or the rock quality numbers and so on so uh, this this uh, geo when we have a machine with the geo shore package then it is a real time mwd it's a, it's a even uh, uh, it's always measuring it uh, irrespective in the normal mwd it is as 2 cm every 2 cm in this case it is all, all the real time so we can uh, uh, have a, a very detailed um, uh, rock classification after the after the uh, when we review the geo report we can see this in the 2d and 3d as well of course and uh, these are the uh, uh, geological based variables like a as i said fracture indicator in a range of 1, 1, 0 to 100 and mps from 0 to 500 and so on this needs to be calibrated based on the uh, one uh, uh, of course this geo, geo package should be calibrated on the rock uh, properties are in the in the face uh, in, at the project and and thereafter it will uh, gives you uh, in, in the in the reference tool of those uh, rock it will gives you a report that uh, particular rock uh, what kind of particular rock encounter while uh, while drilling the uh, holes inside the tunnel so uh, this is very quite quite a useful uh, i mean um, a report and the system that uh, uh, understand uh, what kind of uh, penetration rate has been happened and what kind of uh, uh, sdr or uh, um, classification are available uh, uh, in the in the rock like we can do this kind of uh, all uh, when, when we have a uh, multiple rounds uh, through a geo then we can uh, understand that the rock here is uh, somewhat better but when we advance the rock has been uh, become a, a tougher and then uh, so on so we can uh, review it of course in the, the later stage like this is the one of uh, example that uh, before that we don't, didn't know what is the geology has been encountered in this uh, kind of map but when we have excavated the tunnel to using through a geo then we uh, we at least understand the uh, these are the geo geography in this uh, package so in case in future we have another plan to make a tunnel beside this tunnel we have some some reference idea that what are the actual rock has been uh, experienced in this tunnel of course there are a 2d 2d uh, graph as well for this uh, all these parameters and then uh, we have this uh, scanning uh, options also uh, uh, possible with the uh, with the i series machine uh, these are the, the 3d scanner is mounted on the machine uh, uh, on the near to the cabin and uh, when the machine has been entered inside the tunnel it is uh, scanning the profile of the rock uh, uh, after the blast and it will create the summary table of uh, areas and the volume of underbreak or, or, or underbreaks so it, it is uh, calculating the underbreaks by itself uh, when we have uh, this uh, package uh, i scan we call it as i scan 3d scan package inside the uh, in in the in the software yeah it is a uh, uh, it is uh, like uh, look like uh, this kind of report that they are generating and it's a very useful tool like uh, in this uh, there is a uh, slight overbreak so it will uh, automatically uh, create the uh, uh, using the reference plane and the theoretical profile and the real profile by uh, scanning the uh, uh, cloud point uh, it will uh, create the volume of this uh, area and it's very very handy and very useful so that's that's the uh, option is also possible with this uh, latest uh, drilling technology and uh, of course advanced metric is something uh, with the with the machine and uh, uh, project one project two and other uh, very in detail uh, report system when we want to have have it to review then uh, these are the available and then uh, we have a uh, uh, these are the then uh, data transfer and the inbuilt training sessions on the iso that uh, when somebody if uh, have the pro software in this pc it has to be a training package like day one day two day three and it it can be uh, trained by our uh, educate uh, i mean uh, our drill master or it can be uh, learned by by self learning mode as well so these are the uh, basically uh, isure uh, software package and i just uh, quickly 
go to the software part now to show you a real uh, project uh, in a in a case. OK. You open it up. So this is the icon look like. Ishore is called Sandvik Underground Rock Excavation Software, which is a patented software, of course. And uh, as I said, it is a, a most modern uh, rock excavation software so far in the in the drill and blast industry. Please uh, pardon me if uh, I'm taking some uh, few more minutes of this session. I'm just uh, uh, extending my time. I hope it is OK to everybody. No issues, Tejas. Yeah, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the, um, uh, let's say, tunnel line already installed in the in the software and uh, what I want to highlight how it look like. I mean, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I don't know how many, how many of us is, I mean, uh, how many of us in this forum has been aware of this software, but uh, it is a very good uh, tool to showcase. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not so regular uh, use of this software. I'm not daily user, but uh, I just wanted to show you something which is very interesting that uh, how we can and what we can see and how we can see. So here we can see that there are two lines are going in. One is a um, uh, uh, seems to be a bigger size of tunnel and one is a seems to be a smaller size of tunnel. So this is a typical uh, rail tunnel uh, uh, project in India where one tunnel is called main tunnel and another, another is called uh, escape tunnel and the green uh, tunnel on the face is it's here this this part is called edit to this, those tunnel to the as an entry of uh, excavation so here these are the what the different lines you can see here it's a it's a different peg i mean different round of cycles so can you can you can everybody see here in, in, on those screen? I don't know. Uh, it is a bit light in my screen, but uh, I hope everybody can see this. Yes, it is visible. Oh, great. So uh, you know, so this is a uh, uh, th this how the tunnel uh, project can be uh, loaded on the on the software, and the entire tunnel line goes like this way. So there are two parallel tunnels. One is the main tunnel, one is the escape tunnel, and the, there is a curve. There is a the, so the project starts from here. So I, I have chosen to enter in the, into the midpoint of the tunnel. And so this is uh, my entry into inside the tunnel and and uh, goes on the other other way, this way, other side uh, this way. There are two and and this package ends here. So that, that's how we can uh, load the entire uh, uh, project uh, in this software. Now what I want to show here that we can uh, also see each and every uh, Peg like a peg means uh, each and every round uh, like uh, uh, like let me see here yeah here so here right now if I if I show here that, that this is now my one of the peg and when I move here I can see the number of holes and uh, I can I can review each and every peg <coughs> in case I wish to review later on in the project <coughs> that how many holes I have drilled what is the pool has been achieved in particular uh, round uh, and what are the <coughs> What are the angle I have I, I have been uh, drilling? What, what are the drill plan has been uh, used? So this is for the edit. So when I when I see the and when I see the uh, another uh, like uh, main tunnel, so like this way. So it is uh, now green and I start from here somewhere. Yeah. So I see here. It, so it is always uh, you know going. And it, it shows you uh, and uh, and you can you can anytime you can click the and any any of a uh, any of a plan and you can uh, review it uh, later on. Example, this one. So when I when I see here the the round round number triple two one zero point nine. So it is a it is a look like this is the shape of the face and this is how the number of holes has been drilled. 
And now, and now I want to see the, the 3D plan of this uh, uh, drilling. Then I can go to the 3D here like this. So it is uh, visible here. All holes in the 3D. And when I do. So the profile, so the axis rock surface and whole end surface. So it's it's is visible here now. So this is how the drill has happened in this uh, in this round. And I can also see the MWD. This is how the MWD look like. And when I want to see a penetration rate. So that's how we can see the uh, penetration rate of all the holes. Like here. And of course we can uh, we can that, that here is a you know the, the barometer or we can say uh, uh, um, I know uh, uh, setup to be like uh, uh, make the setup to the see the penetration rate here. We can of course always uh, penetration rate is always uh, below 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 four meters, so it is never been achieved of five meters. So I set it at four meter, and uh, let us start with the two meter because it's a, it's a let's say one and a half meters. So that's how we can see that. How many holes has been drilled at uh, four meter? So it's very uniform, uh, uniform penetration rate here in this round of report. And uh, this blue zone shows that the round report uh, penetration rate in the beginning is a slower because of the coloring and uh, ramping up process of the uh, of the drilling the hole. So coloring, I'm I'm sure you must be aware that coloring is something uh, while we entering into the hole, uh, we are going uh, steady and a bit slow to make it a position inside the hole correctly. Otherwise, it will get deviate if we make a full power in the beginning. So that that process has been uh, shows this indication of the uh, low penetration rate in the beginning, and then later it is uh, ramping up and the full uh, power. So it is showing like this. In case we want to see particular hole, uh, a particular hole uh, penetration rate. So select one hole here like this and show the uh, highlighted holes. So only one hole can be visible here, and in this uh, in, in this uh, hole I can see the sample here. Like at at what length it has been. So the total length you can see here the total length is 2.9 meter, but when I I can see here that uh, like at at one meter the penetration rate uh, okay at one meter the penetration rate is somewhere 3.2 meter per minute, and at here when it, at, at, at the two meter the penetration rate is about 3.45 minute per meter, uh, sorry meter per minute <laughs> excuse me. And uh, so on. So uh, that's how you can uh, monitor the what is a particular hole uh, penetration rate, or you can uh, uh, you can see the entire um, uh, way, uh, entire all the holes together. Then we can also see the SDR of this particular hole. That what is the um, uh, resistance it has uh, 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 experienced while drilling. So here we can also set the limit. This is the MPA. So 250 MPA is the maximum, and uh, let's say minimum is a zero. So. Uh, of course, we can see the sample here. Like in the beginning, there is a zero MPA, so it's the start the hole, and when uh, it is started, is it's counter to 226 MPA rock, and then again it is a, a bit softer, like 47 MPA, and then again uh, it is uh, going steady with 38 uh, MPA, 34, 32, 24, 21, so so on. So this this is the way you know we can uh, uh, review the geological uh, condition of the rock while uh, having this kind of report in the drilling. Just, just uh, uh, I, I wish to highlight that we have a probe hole drilling like 21 meter around, and we can have a, this kind of a report available. So we can easily identify the what kind of rock we are going to encounter in the next couple of round at least. Like 21 meter covers at least uh, five or six round of uh, tunneling easily. So, so that can be uh, you know very useful uh, data or tool to the uh, to planning or the geological department. So that's how. And, and this is the entire uh, face uh, geological uh, 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 geo SDR report like like this way. So we can see here uh, some of the red zones here, which are the hard rock, uh, hard hard strata can as encountered. So this is how uh, we can see and uh, uh, information the round report, uh, which is I, I have I have covered in the uh, that uh, PPT part, but this is the live uh, particular round. So in this, um, you can see the pack number. The pack number is the location of the machine that where we are uh, doing this drilling. The total planned volume is 160 meter cube, and the drill volume is something about 170 meter cube. So uh, this is also available, and the total drill meter is about 253 meters. The machine serial number is also visible here. 
navigation here so what kind of navigation method has been used so it can uh, easily uh, uh, determine that uh, uh, what who who did and what kind of navigation has been uh, used the total station is used here in this case it's very accurate and very fast and the uh, uh, all the details are here x y z coordinates then the drilling efficiency how many uh, basket hours uh, i mean is there any basket as in use the zero basket hours no basket has been used uh, percussion hours boom one boom two and the total this is for the round only particular in this round how many hours has been clocked here how many meters each boom has drilled 127 126 how what is the uh, uh, penetration rate has been achieved between these two booms so this is a 3 meter per minute this is a 3.24 meter per minute average drilling speed in particular boom and the end of average average of total of both of Per, per machine this average is per machine and the gross drilling speed gross drilling capacity and we can also see the total so total is a cumulative of uh, since the beginning and to, till the uh, this round so the total is uh, at this while uh, we are reaching at this uh, round of the drilling then the total is a uh, percussion hour clock at 262 216 and 235 so slightly different so it is a natural thing power pack hour is something uh, slight different and also uh, average drilling capacity is different and total drill meters is also uh, we can see here is very um, very handy and very useful that the drill meter total count in the one boom and two boom and total uh, 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 sum of uh, 42000 meter has been drilled so far at the at the end of this round so that is a very uh, useful data to the any any uh, construction company or the contractor to review the uh, the project by having uh, all, all the drilling process at least to to optimize then uh, the next round uh, the next information is uh, what type of holes they have used so in this case the customer is only select all the hole as a control hole and and uh, they have not selected as a either hole or the reaming hole or the cut holes what what happens i mean uh, when we when we select a different type of uh, drill holes <clears throat> it is uh, it is i you know a machine take the adjustment automatically like contour for the contour holes the accuracy is uh, foremost per criteria i mean we do not to have a more speed on there those holes so the machine takes the adjustment by its own to when they are doing contour holes or the periphery bottom holes and and when they are doing the either holes so all holes are uh, at, at at the peak of uh, speed so uh, in this case uh, I, i i can't show you uh, either hole or the cut hole in this uh, report because the customer selected all hole as a contour hole so all hole uh, drill at with the um, uh, great uh, accuracy uh, best possible accuracy i would say face drilling holes so these are the uh, i mean uh, hole uh, has been drilled uh, with this machine and we can see here so when the hole is accurate there is a um, uh, no warning but when the hole is not accurate i mean uh, it's a deviating from the actual location like you can see here it's a, it's the x is 1.2 and uh, it has drilled at 1.19 uh, so it is uh, called deviation so like uh, here in this case y so it's it's very uh, very you know a uh, small tool uh, deviation is also reflected here but we can also uh, uh, you know make an adjustment in the tolerances uh, i mean we can set the limit of tolerances and and if any holes has been missed by the missed by the operator or or by the machine or or operator has intervened and uh, didn't allow to do the machine to make the hole those can be identified here that hole number 115 has not drilled hole number 116 is not drilled and we can definitely ask operator that what happened why this drill uh, this hole is not been drilled what is the reason if is there is any problem or is there any, any hurdles because sometime on the face there is a hurdles like uh, rock is hanging or rock is uh, outside or something like rock bolt has been uh, um, um, uh, objecting the drill machine to to make a hole so those kind of we can uh, if, if we have this kind of summary we can uh, of course uh, question and we can uh, make a uh, justifiable uh, arrangement to to make a efficient blast so this is how the report has been generated then uh, bolting holes there is no bolt holes has been planned in this profile hole comments there is no hole comments uh, if there is a comment ka operator can make a comment here that the anti anti jamming is happening more in this hole or the more water seepage has been identified in this hole so those so on and uh, drill steel consumption so far uh, uh, you can uh, okay here uh, we can see here the boom one has a 2 27 meter and a bit uh, still running bit to grind at 56 meter rod one at 29 meter and rod is broken at 56 meter and so on so this kind of uh, uh, when we enter this report and we can have a average uh, report at the end of the round or at the end of the cycle of, of uh, or at the, at the end of the month or we can review it uh, that how many bits or how many holes has been consumed like average percussion hours or number of events and so on 
like water loss is there any water loss happened in this goal so there is a no water loss indicator in this uh, uh, round of uh, report so these are the uh, reports can be generated and uh, and i think uh, i can also show you some okay fill plans let me quickly quickly uh, show show you how how the drill plan has been made i mean in this uh, process it's very easy i mean anyone uh, can be trained uh, in a in a um, uh, week or 10 days time to get this used to this software <clears throat> so first we have a theoretical profile of a tunnel like this and we have uh, inserted the machine uh, model here like uh, in this case two boom machine uh, is the name is uh, like an i series two boom machine so it is it is shows that this machine is capable this two diagram outside the tunnel of a theoretical profile shows that this uh, machine can uh, cater the uh, profile very well uh, within this boom coverage so there is a uh, no profile outside the coverage so it is a uh, 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 the boom is in one standing position can cover the entire profile so uh, that's how we understand this uh, profile coverage then assisting profile assisting profile is something to have a you know lookout angle of the tunnel uh, to have a advance otherwise if we if we do the parallel holes all the time straight holes then the tunnel will shrink so it is uh, giving you a lookout angle <clears throat> then the hole placement so this hole placement is a very unique design by the client itself so um, uh, uh, the, this kind of hole placement can be done uh, uh, with the help of a geologist or uh, with the surveyor or the tunnel manager then we have defined the hole depth uh, what kind of hole depth? Uh, like in, in this case, uh, we have a we are drilling at two and a half meter length. We can see zero, one meter, two meter, and two and a half. So all holes are at the two and a half meter length. <coughs> and then uh, we have a hole direction. So this is uh, important because uh, when we do a straight holes, and uh, uh, when we do a straight holes, there is a no flushing out of the hole is possible. So we need some angles to uh, uh, have a flushing uh, out of the hole while drilling. Uh, flushing is like a cut uh, or the chips or the uh, or the or the water needs to be drained out from the hole. Then there's a sequence. So uh, red red so, uh, shows the boom number one here like this, and the uh, blue shows the boom number. Uh, sorry, uh, blue is the boom number one, and the red is the boom number two. And when we have uh, this thing, then we can always uh, make a 3D view and uh, see that. Uh, what is that 3D? 3D and Okay. Ah, okay. And of course, when we do a sequence here, we can play it like this, and we can see that how the boom sequence has been uh, given. So the boom boom sequence should be in a way that the two two drilling booms should not be collapse or uh, uh, should not be uh, very close to each other. It will uh, not so advisable. So this way we can uh, see the three D animation that that the the boom boom sequence is perfect and fine. And then uh, we can uh, we can uh, automatically or by manually we can give a rollover. Rollover is something the drifter location on the feed. Uh, sometime uh, uh, we cannot do the drifter in a, in in a in an upward position, so we have to sometimes tilt the drifter uh, downwards or the sidewards to make the holes uh, as a parallel. We can of course apply a detonator uh, uh, detonator properties like charging material or the uh, or the properties here, but in this case we don't have. Uh, so I will just uh, cancel this. And and of course, once we have a detonator uh, or the blasting uh, charging uh, uh, properties, we can have a surface delay here, which we don't have right now. So I just uh, close it. We can uh, we can have a provision to do that. And then the hole type. So here we can see that there are different hole types. You can uh, nominate that bottom holes, casing holes, or contour holes, cut hole, either hole, injection hole. So when when in I series machine, when some uh, select the contour holes, the the different drilling parameter would be different because the con contour and the profile hole needs more accuracy and the more uh, precision, uh, precision, whereas in easer and the cut holes are uh, just in the middle uh, of the uh, of the face, so it is a uh, very quite uh, quite fast uh, drilling, and so on. So that's how uh, we see the 3D like this. So this is our drill plan uh, design, and and once the, this drill plan is uh, finished, we can uh, take this drill plan to the we can take this drill plan to the machine itself, like. Exporting the file. Sorry, sorry, not not oh, oh, not this one. Sorry, it's a help, not required. So we can file export to the machine, or this way we can uh, make a. Oh, sorry. 
so uh, this is a now now drill pan is ready and now with this export to the file uh, we can uh, uh, have a, a file ready to the insert into the machine computer through usb or through wi-fi and that's how um, uh, this uh, report has been uh, uh, i mean uh, that's how this uh, drill plan has been uh, transferred to the machine <clears throat> so uh, this is what uh, i would uh, cover here and i go back to my this is the software part uh, and i go back to my own uh, presentation okay so we are here in this presentation and uh, of course uh, there is a uh, one more uh, uh, point to I highlight here that the, uh, this is a very uh, modern machine and uh, it needs uh, special uh, attention uh, when we uh, when we need to operate it and uh, uh, for those we need we, we need to train a good a good uh, team or good operator uh, and a good uh, <coughs> uh, a good skill uh, person to to do that we we have a, a tool called a simulator. So this simulator and uh, is, is an exact replica of the machine control. So this control, what you see here in this uh, slide here, like uh, this uh, screen, this joysticks, it's absolutely 100% same, like, like the brain of the machine is here. So uh, 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 the, the operator uh, can, can experience the, how it feels when it moves the joystick and how it uh, moves the boom movement here in front of the screen. And and uh, uh, it is very handy simulator. This is a just a pack in this kind of a small bag, and can one person can carry to the any location. And and uh, this is very fast. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, operator or batch of a two operator can be trained in a one week time uh, comfortably uh, uh, in a in a uh, four or five hours a day. So uh, this is a uh, 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 this is also available in the in the in the industry to uh, not to worry on the operator part or the train uh, people uh, or, or the train uh, skill uh, labor part uh, this tool is available and, and and we have a uh, three of this setup in available in india uh, two of in uh, udaipur and one of in, uh, in in the northern part of india sir so uh, this part is a well addressed uh, as a as a as a training uh, training part of this jumbos which is uh, sophisticated in terms of uh, operation the summary here i just conclude my summary uh, through uh, all this uh, long uh, uh, presentation and the speech uh, overall uh, uh, what 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 gains uh, after uh, having this uh, accurate drilling or automation of in, in the drilling through a drill jumbo it, it is it is contributing to uh, accuracy in the drilling operation and uh, and ensure the lowest ore break resulting the lesser excavation cost and lower cycle time for the tunneling and and that's a uh, that's an uh, 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 very very truthful and we have uh, experiencing it in the in the right now in the indian some of the tunneling projects so that's a very valid uh, statement here record of operator productivity and efficiency of course it is uh, keeping all the records that uh, who done the navigation and uh, what uh, what uh, uh, points has been used how many holes has been drilled every round and those round reports can be monitored by any time any day uh, it's it's all uh, documented well documented in the in the normal uh, tech, uh, normal machines it is uh, there is no facility to do that uh, as a as a limitation of those machines equipment utilization and optimization like um, uh, we can uh, always review that uh, a particular like in 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 a in a one project we are having a six or seven machine in together that we can always utilize and optimize that particular machine is underutilized or over over i mean of course it's good that overutilized but if so, any machine cannot be underutilized so we can have a you know uh, uh, optimize the resource of uh, this uh, equipment so that that can be reviewed uh, having the report that how many hours it clocks how many drill meter is done and how many uh, engine hours at its clock and also on mwd parameter as as mentioned it's a uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great help uh, to the uh, predicting upcoming geology and the rock characteristics and it helps to changing drill bit and drill plan pattern ahead of time. So uh, after having the probe hole or the, after having the round report, one can make the analysis and uh, make a next round report uh, uh, suitably changes with the suitable changes. Overall time saving due to automated process and less human uh, dependence. Uh, this we also agreed that. Uh, the, uh, when we have a uh, you know uh, programmable uh, things, then the uh, things are goes uh, on its own way. Uh, there is a no hindrance uh, or there is a no uh, uh, I would say human uh, um, error, uh, very less human error I would say uh, reported. Increased safety and quality of works, of course, very uh, very less person required. Uh, like in a in a in a one machine uh, in a three boom case uh, in a, in a normal hydraulic machine in a three boom jumbo, there are two operator required because the one operator cannot handle the three consoles, three three different uh, uh, operating consoles. In a in a in a in a 
in the same capacity of machine like three boom, uh, if there is a computer control machine, the one machine, one operator can handle the all the three booms uh, together, uh, uh, having only one operator console. So that's how the very uh, 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 less the man in, inside the tunnel, it increases the safety as well. And and of course, the uh, difference of opinion and the other things can eliminate it. Early generation of revenue from completed tunnel and projects, of course, we have a good pull out. Uh, we have a control uh, uh, way of uh, doing the process. Then uh, the, uh, we, we, we can very well expect that the project has been uh, have a uh, early completion or compared to the hydraulic uh, uh, or the, or the non-computerized uh, uh, system of uh, tunnel excavation. And of course, this is an upgrade to the industry uh, to the, towards the digital future that uh, we, we all are agree and uh, accept that the, 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 every, everything is going digital, even uh, even the even the grocery store is also going digital. So why not the, this drilling business? Because this is a, a quite a serious and a quite a, you know, uh, uh, unsafe uh, doing uh, the unsafe uh, process of doing the excavation. So why not to opt for a digital uh, way of doing this or, or automated way of doing this? So I think. Uh, Oh, this is my uh, presentation. Uh, I can take the questions from the uh, participants if they have any. I I, I hope <laughs> I hope it's interesting or it's just uh, boring or how it is. <laughs> it's quite long. Uh, thank you, thank you, Skejas. Uh, I mean, you were very thorough and detailed on this topic, and it was a really engaging talk for us, to be honest. And. <laughs> And you made quite practical points, you know, which sometimes go under the radar in, in construction also and also sometimes in design. Yeah. And uh, I mean, especially the emphasis on optimizing the blast design and yeah. to have the excavated section as, as close to the design as possible, you yeah. know, because, uh, because the extra excavation obviously costs money and it yeah, also... Uh, it also cost a lot of money to 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 filling back the unrequired space which was blasted. Yes. And not just this, I mean, although it's not in India yet, but few countries around the world like Austria, where you have yeah. to pay per cubic meter cost for disposing that that muck just to put oh, on yes. ground. You oh, have yes. to pay a per cubic meter cost, which is, if I remember correctly, it was quite huge. Oh so, yes. So 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 they want the tunnel cross section to be excavated as precisely as possible. Yes. So yeah, this is really a good concept, and and such detail information obviously can be used to diagnose any yeah. uh, construction problems, and also I guess for optimize optimization as yeah. you go. Yeah. So so really really impressive and really interesting talk, Tejas. Yeah. Uh, now we can go to Q and A. So yeah. everybody, uh, please go ahead with your question. Uh, either in the chat box or just raise your hand so we can unmute you. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, hey, just let me let me start it with a small query of myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, my question is rather generic in nature. That have you given this kind of uh, detailed drill and blast assistance to? any tunnel projects in India and uh, how has been your experience uh, in, the, in, in, in those projects? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, uh, we, I mean, uh, we are happy to share that uh, in uh, 2019 uh, onwards, uh, uh, we have a couple of uh, cases in India, those, uh, in those uh, uh, projects, this kind of machine has been uh, uh, deployed and applied well, like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like rail tunnels uh, of uh, RVNL or, or um, uh, highway tunnels of uh, uh, national highway. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the result are, results are very encouraging, and uh, uh, some of the uh, let's let's uh, some of the uh, some of the contractor are really reaping the benefit of uh, those uh, underbreak and overbreak um, uh, uh, optimization uh, results. Mm -hmm. They are they are really happy, and they are they are witnessing it, and. Uh, we have okay. recently published one uh, uh, one uh, article in the new uh, our uh, um, uh, industry magazine that uh, okay. they are they are witnessing and they are they are endorsing that, that this is the way forward and uh, the, doing the way of tunneling is the only way to have this kind of machine to mm -hmm. control the uh, control the entire entire process actually uh, mm -hmm. you know having having a data and having a report uh, gives you a lot of uh, insights and a lot of uh, ideas to you know uh, 
uh, where, where we are wrong here here yeah. this uh, this reports or the report i mean uh, data is not something to penalize somebody or nothing to you know uh, demotivate somebody but uh, here to you know uh, find out the, the best way we can uh, we can do uh, we can do this process even better in in the next round uh, at least so that is of the course. whole purpose here that is the whole idea here it is mm. uh, the, of course there are some fears in uh, in an operator that um, uh, if i miss something that uh, my my employer will fire me or they they will me ask me why this happened why not this had not happened but mm -hmm. that, that is fine i mean uh, it is a system and we uh, we can uh, just correct ourselves as far as possible so that is the uh, you know whole idea to uh, we want to uh, we, we, i want to give the message to the uh, industry or the cust customer if anyone here that uh, this is not something to hide or it is, this is not something to uh, make them anyone's blame this is to something uh, uh, make let us make improvement in our own process and uh, uh, have a best result out of our uh, resource has been deployed so that is the way we that, that's how that, that is the experience so, and and the and the customer is really happy i i shared those uh, uh, those uh, uh, news articles uh, of lnt uh, they have okay. endorsed this technology very well uh, in this rbnl project uh, so they are they have our Ah, uh, Rishikesh current pay yes. So they have our um, uh, six machine uh, right now uh, at 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 the package two, which they okay. have. Uh, 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 they are they they are really happy, and they have all. They, actually, they have a hydraulic machines as well at the other site in in one mm -hmm. of the another project. So they can uh, easily uh, uh, you know quantify the advantage of this uh, new uh, new kind of uh, technology of in drilling, mm -hmm. which they cannot uh, uh, get the advantage in the hydraulic machines or other normal machines. Okay, okay. So you you provide these uh, these additional information and software along with your machine, I believe, right? Yes, this this software is a part of our machine supply. So if anybody okay. buys the machine, uh, the software comes with the machine as a one of the uh, one of the supply item. But of course, uh -huh. this software is a uh, something like a renewable software, like our uh, our Microsoft Office. We have to renew every year or uh, and so on. But. Uh, uh, so this is a license based software and uh, but one one good part actually to share here if anyone is interested to learn more on this software we have a we have a free pre period uh, demo trial version available like uh, okay. uh, if if anyone wants to hands on have this uh, drill and plan uh, design that can download the software from the web uh, i can share the link uh, uh, later on uh, on this forum and uh, one can download and can use the software and let's have a feel that how it works and what are the other features in the software at least for some period which is a free period and then if they want to continue they have to buy a license and okay. of course there are certain certain levels of the software that the beginner level or the advanced level or the pro level so mm -hmm. this this free version is available with the beginner level so at least uh, uh, somebody has an interest they can uh, of course uh, approach us to have this uh, software Okay, okay. That 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 would be really helpful to this. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, if there are no questions now, also, I mean, uh, because we have a lot of footfall of our webinars on when we post them on YouTube as well. Yeah. So, if we if we have any questions later, also, and if if the audience is present, they have uh, any questions later, also, please write yeah. to us. Uh, uh, I am sure Tejas will be more than happy to to answer them. Yes. Uh, yes. Again, Tejas, thank you so much. Um, it was a really engaging and very practical topic which you which you talked about today. I'll just yeah. take couple of couple of minutes more to to announce few things. Uh, yeah. I'll just share my screen yeah. now. Yeah. And Anshul, is the my screen visible now? Yeah, uh, I can okay. see. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. So just quickly, uh, we have an open house now uh, in couple of weeks. Uh, we try to do it every year. Last year we couldn't do because of this pandemic. Uh, now we are uh, doing it virtually. So it will be an open house for TAYM members on 26 June 2021. So which is next next Saturday. Uh, it will just be an informal interaction with all of you. So no presentation or no technical talk, but just all of us interacting with each other virtually. Uh, uh, we will, TIYM uh, will share our tentative plans for the future and about, about how we are looking to move ahead. Um, what, are, what are the lines which we are thinking? And also, I mean, your feedback on what past activities we have done and also if something there, there is something which you would like to see happening, you know, I mean, uh, just just a very informal uh, discussion or uh, talk with all of you. 
so this is one thing uh, next is saita which is symposium for young tunnelers in asia this was a this was an initiative started by taym uh, last year uh, with 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 the countries in uh, southeast asia and this year uh, india is hosting it so so please feel free to be part of this event it will be a one day online event uh, on 7th of august 2021 if you follow our a uh, linkedin page or if you are a tiy member uh, we already posted uh, about this on our on our social media platforms and also on emails so we really look forward for you uh, to join us there uh, in in hosting the uh, this the site this year uh, the next is ytc which is young tunnelers conference which is actually uh, the which will be the um, from next year onwards it will be a regular uh, annual conference for tiym Uh, we were uh, uh, we were going to host it last year on 7th march but because of this pandemic it had to be postponed and we couldn't do it last year so so this year we are planning it in end of november uh, this is just a tentative an announcement we will main, uh, announce the exact date uh, in next 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 uh, few days uh, uh, or month something like this uh, this will be first annual conference of tiym and which will continue every year uh, after that uh, this is uh, i mean we had sponsors last year uh, from paul zeidler and geoconsult and they have thankfully uh, and and to great credit to them they have stayed with us and they have also ex- expressed their support to us to 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 continue it uh, uh, this year as well so that's it from my end uh, thank you so much everyone for joining thank you so much stages uh my 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 pleasure and and thanks to sandeep and uh, uh, to you akshay as a, as, a, as a good opportunity to showcase here our uh, our unique product thanks a lot thanks a lot thank you thank you everyone for joining uh, we look forward to see you all very soon yeah. soon thanks bye bye take care bye bye